Hey guys, how are we doing today? Yeah, the review I actually have on for you today is Diesel's Only the Bray. Now this is uh, the first Diesel fragrance I'm ever going to review, and this is one of two of Diesel's, of two of at least my favorite Diesel offerings for men. That's Diesel and, uh, Diesel, or Diesel's Only the Brave and Diesel's Fuel for Life. But before I get into this, I want to tell you about a little update. Uh, the next three days of my videos are what I'm going to hope to be the three craziest days in the history of me doing my videos. And I've been doing my videos around a year and a half now. Um, Monday, I'm going to be having that fragrance giveaway. And remember, I haven't told you what fragrance it is I'm giving away yet. But it's one I really do enjoy. It's one that made my top 10 longest long, uh, best longevity. And it's one that made my top 10 most complimented fragrance. Uh, fragrances. I don't know what my problem is, but for some reason, for the giveaways I've had so far, I give away fragrances I really like. But yeah, it's a fragrance that can't really be found at a discount price anywhere. Trust me, I've looked. It's one that's expensive all around. So I definitely hope you guys like that. And that video will be out tomorrow. Now, second day, Tuesday, it is going to be my official Green Irish Tweed review. Now, this one's going to go into the bottle cosmetics a little bit more because I originally reviewed it based on two samples but this right here is going to have the full bottle and I can already tell you there's a slight difference between the samples juice and the bottles juice so I hope you're looking forward to Tuesday for that Creed's Green Irish Tweed review and then Wednesday to top it all off I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance that it's very hard to try because it's not around a lot of places at least I know it's nowhere around where I live and I heard in a few major cities it's not really around. And that's Christian Dior's Fahrenheit Absolute. That's actually one of my most requested fragrances for a review. So I definitely hope everyone's very much psyched about that review because I know I am. It's definitely a unique fragrance and I'm very excited for these next three days. But here, let me get into uh, Diesel right here. We do have the bottle right here. The bottle for Diesel Only the Brave is actually extremely detailed. I'll kind of let my camera close to that. You can see we have stainless steel brass knuckles. We have an engraved cap right there. It says only the brave, and it's a heavy glass bottle. Bottle to this, whether you love it or hate it, will definitely attract attention to it. But we'll get to what matters, and that's the juice inside only the brave. We do have the note lineup as top notes of lemon and mandarin orange. Uh, the middle notes, we have Virginia cedar and violet leaves. Then the base notes, we have um, leather, benzoin, and amber. Now as this develops, when you first initially spray this on your skin, you know, let it set for about 30 seconds. What will really hit you is that mandarin orange. It's almost a, it's a fresh, but it's thick at the same time. A thick mandarin orange. That's actually probably my favorite part of the fragrance. The great thing about the top notes of this, that mandarin orange, is they last about two hours on my skin and for top notes the last two hours that's pretty good that's telling you this fragrance is probably gonna have pretty good longevity but you do get that really nice it's almost a syrupy sweet mandarin orange for those top notes and that's what really caught the attention of me I'll get into that a little bit later though as you go through the heart notes on this uh, the orange starts to die down it's still very bold in presence but the orange starts to die down and the cedar wood and the amber start to kick up so it then turns from that uh, kind of that man that thick mandarin orange to more of just like a thicker sweet fragrance. Now the amber in here is it's it's pretty light. It's not a true amber fragrance. The cedar does give it a little bit of woodiness to it, but without it, not so much to the point that it becomes a woody fragrance at all. And then it kind of dries down to this just like I said that musky ambery cedar. There may be a little bit of vanilla kicking around here, too. That's probably from the benzoin. Benzoin smells a lot like vanilla. But as far as longevity on your skin for Diesel's Only the Bray, um, this will project. It will project and it will last. I get at least 10 hours on here. Now, I'm going to show you how much juice this will shoot. It is a lot of juice. All right, one, two, three, go. I'm not sure if you saw that, but it took up about the whole screen for how much juice it shoots. Oh, it smells nice. <laughs> but um, 
Definitely, guys, this spritz is a lot. And because it spritz is so much, I'd only use three sprays of it. I do one on the neck, then one on each wrist. Now, a little story behind this fragrance, how I first found out about it. I knew about its release date, but I hadn't really tried it. Um, I was I was walking through Macy's, and the uh, guy must have just sprayed it on. But a gentleman passed me, or a gentleman, he was a he was a college kid, and I was like I was like hey buddy what I was like hey buddy can I ask you a question? He's like yeah I was like what fragrance are you wearing? And yes I did say what fragrance are you wearing? Say what you will I have no shame. I don't care I was curious, but um he's like oh um actually he's like oh it's Diesel's only the Brave. I was in a Macy's when it happened. I was actually probably walking over to test a few fragrances probably. But I was like, oh, I was like, man, that's good stuff. He's like, oh, thanks. But that's what really jumped out to me was that mandarin orange, that thickly sweet mandarin orange. And it just really surprised me. I was like, wow. I was like, that, that smells pretty nice. But like I said, it does kind of develop into that ambery muskiness to it. Uh, the leather note in here, there might be leather kicking around in here. If it is, I think it's probably a very light suede because it's not a super masculine fragrance in the least as far as leather goes like say um john barbados has a great leather note in it that's much more masculine than this this is probably like i said a light suede but when it dries down it does kind of get that powdery sweet feel to it but for a recommended age for this definitely a college or high school kid if you're looking for something that'll stick to your skin something will last something you can get compliments on because it will project diesel only the brave is a great one to go with if you like Chanel's Allure Sport, this will remind you a lot of Chanel's Allure Sport. It starts out thick and fresh and sweet, then it progresses to being thicker and thicker and thicker. Now, for my overall rating for Diesel's Only the Brave, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It's a really long-lasting fragrance for a sports fragrance. Again, sports fragrance, uh, i.e. citrus musk combo, basically. Um, it will project... It will get you compliments because, like I said, it just plain smells nice. It won't go out and grab anybody or anything like that, but it just plain smells nice. But an 8 out of 10 is my final rating for Only the Brave. Great bottle. I'm also going to be um, adding a new thing as request of my um, subscribers. And I'll just call it the compliment rating. How this would rate for compliments. Basically, this one, like I said, I complimented this one. It jumped out at me. It'll probably jump out at others. I'm probably going to give this an 8 out of 10 for compliments as far as that goes. And also, you guys wanted me to add buy, try, or pass. Um, if you're an older gentleman, i.e. 30 or up, you know, this one, it just has too young of a vibe. You can be wearing better things out there. But definitely for anybody in college or high school, 25 or under, try this out, particularly if you like, if you like Chanel's Allure Sport. But yeah. Like I said, I hope you guys are excited for the next three days as I am. Like I said, three big time vids. I'm pumped. I hope you're pumped. And yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think of Diesel's Only the Brave. All right? I'll see you later, guys. Bye.